Cyber-physical systems are real-world things controlled by computers, such as traffic lights, planes on autopilot, and the electricity grid. Water distribution systems are also becoming more and more automated. These systems are the collection of reservoirs, tanks, pumps, valves, and pipes that deliver drinking water to our taps. All sorts of clever devices are being added to these systems, including sensors that can measure the level of water in a tank or the pressure in a pipe, and programmable logic controllers which can do things like automatically turning on a pump when a tank is close to empty. There are also supervisory control and data acquisition, or SCADA, systems which monitor and control all of the devices across a network. While all of these innovations can allow the system to run more reliably and efficiently, they also expose the system to potential attacks on the software that controls it. If a hacker is able to remotely access the components of a cyber-physical system, they could do all sorts of damage. Attacks range from simply stealing data, to damaging equipment, cutting off water supply, or even releasing excess treatment chemicals into the system. Hackers can spy on the system with eavesdropping attacks, overload the system with denial of service attacks, or send bogus data with deception attacks. Most of these attacks will have noticeable effects on the system, such as strangely low pressures, but hackers can even cover their footprints by sending back data that pretends everything is running fine, kind of like in the movies when hackers replace a live CCTV feed with recorded footage. This means that it can be really tricky to detect attacks on the system, either with human operators or detection algorithms. In order to prevent these attacks, and to be able to respond quickly to them if they do occur, it's important to study how water distribution systems respond to a wide range of possible attacks. Perhaps the best way to do this is to simulate attacks in computer models, but until now there has not been an easy way to do this. As part of a recent study, Researchers developed two tools to simulate attacks on water distribution networks. The first is an attack model, which describes the different ways that a hacker might try to compromise the system. The second is a toolbox that runs on MATLAB, a widely used engineering computation software. This toolbox takes the attack model and automatically runs it in EPA-NET, which is an industry standard software for modeling how water flows through distribution systems. The EPA-NET CPA toolbox keeps track of both the actual physical status of the system and the reported cyber status of the system, which may have been changed by a hacker. The researchers took these tools and applied six different attack scenarios which targeted different components of a medium-sized water distribution network and repeated them hundreds of times under different conditions. The attacks resulted in pumps malfunctioning and tanks overflowing or emptying down to very low levels. The researchers found that the seriousness of the attacks depended on the initial conditions of the system and how much water was being demanded at the time. They also found that attacks that targeted different components of the system could have very similar outcomes. These important findings suggest that a clever hacker can use information about the system to maximize the effect of an attack. They also suggest that while it may be easy to spot strange behavior in the system, that's not enough to know which component has been attacked. The development of these tools is an important first step towards securing safe drinking water in the face of malicious cyber-physical attacks. By continuing to improve these tools, and designing water distribution systems to cope with the attacks that they simulate, we can help ensure clean water for everyone into the future.